Good afternoon, y'all. Sorry. Um, how's everybody doing? It is a crap day out today. It's very overcast and yucky. Um, we have to go school shopping today, which is always fun. Spend more money. Um, I feel like that's all we've been doing lately is spending money. But, um, you know, I, I kind of look at it like, okay, well, we didn't really have to furnish our house. We were blessed in that in that respect, so we saved a whole lot of money um, as far as furniture goes because we had two houses worth of furniture, plus they, you know, we bought a lot of furniture from them, and it was quality furniture that these, they bought. So, you know, the house is, is big, and we were blessed as far as that. So I guess, I, you know, like I say to my husband, we did save a lot, you know, as far as that respect is concerned, you know. So, any money we put out now is just for decorating and odds and ends that we may need around the house and, you know, things like that. Um, but this school shopping, and they have a website or school, um, and the, the, the price, I'm like, and I guess these bougie people are willing to pay it so they don't have to go to the store, but you guys, I can't. I just can't do it. I am too cheap, like, especially knowing I can get it somewhere else cheaper, like, it hurts my heart. But then I also have to factor in that, like, if I have to take an Uber, that, you know, that's going to cost money, so it probably equals out, um, spending-wise. I know it's like, holy hell right now. I'm not feeling so good. I feel a little under the weather. I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like something's going around. It's like a stomach bug. I hope I just feel well for tomorrow. Because, whoop, whoop. Turn up. Tomorrow's my birthday. So, um, we're having an adult night out. The limo is coming to pick us up at 8. And, um, I'm super excited. Because we don't really go out. We don't do anything. Anything we do is really, I mean, we go out, you guys. Because I know you guys are probably like, oh, yeah, right. But we do stuff for the kids, so we really don't ever have, like, adult time, you know? I bought something real casual. Um, we're probably just going to go bar hopping and grab food. Um, yeah. Look at my hair, y'all. I got to re-dye my hair today because it's a disaster. Like, it turned out to be, like, disastrous. Like, this color. Just, it wasn't good. So I'm debating whether or not... I need to. Steven, what happened? No, do more. Go upstairs in your room. Go in your room. You have a, your own space to go in. Y'all, see, he tries this shit, but this is what he was at the other house. I had no place to concentrate. He needs to do schoolwork, and he's got two book reports he's got to get done. So, like, this last week in July is, like, it. The fun is over come August 1st because the next month is grind time and we got to get back into school mode and school scheduling because I don't like, because I don't know how everybody else does it, but for me, come August 1st, we're back on our regular schedule. And honestly, I love it because routine is, for me, is really important, like, I feel like I fall apart at the seams when I'm not on a routine and a schedule. Like, I love the summertime, but I have a love-hate relationship with the summertime, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, come August 1st, it's grind time. Get back on the schedules, start doing, regimenting two hours a day for schoolwork, reading. Um, I, I, get, I have books. I get books, workbooks for the kids to do. Um, so just get back into that mindset, you know, so it's not a shock to their systems when they get back in school. So, yeah, <clears throat> I had so much fun yesterday, you guys, and it was so nice to meet Lou Rock and his family and his kids and, um, go check out his channel if you have not. Um, his kids also have a channel that's linked below in his description box, is it? description boxes um so we're really not doing much today like i'm just getting everything organized and back onto a schedule you know figuring out where we need to be the stuff they need getting stuff together honestly because before we know it september is going to be here 
and I take my driving test August 16th so before I know it that's gonna be here so yeah yeah he's upstairs in his room he's gotta do his schoolwork this kid always wants toys she needs to understand at some point we need to stop with the toys if you guys saw my basement and mom rock and Lou rock vouch for me I let them tear it up because I'm like I don't care it's the basement that's the whole point of it so there's not toys all over the rest of the house and you know I don't care tear it up make a mess I don't give a poop what it looks like you know um, the only time I really clean it up is if I have a guest staying in the basement so they don't kill themselves but honestly even then the mess stays in one select area where the, all the toys are so they clean it up fine they don't fine um, Honestly, I don't carry the white because I don't have to look at it. And that was the whole point of getting a basement. So, also, um, if you guys have not yet, please go check out um, the bonfire campaign for um, Mr. I Believe in Ghosts. Get a t-shirt. This round, they have ordered um, added tanks, uh, tank tops as well. So, for all you who are requesting tank tops, they've got that on there now. We need a minimal of eight shirts, you guys, to have the order printed. So please, please, please go show your support. Show your love. They're fairly priced, you guys. They're $22 a shirt, and the quality is worth the money you spend. And that money is given to Michael so we can get him here to America and make his dreams come true. I know you guys can do it. We're the fans, you guys. We could do anything we put our minds to, and we come together we can help he also if you cannot afford a shirt okay and then twenty two dollars is too much even if you can only donate a dollar or two you guys go on to Laura Rona's page on Facebook and she has a like a GoFundMe set up so even if you could only donate a dollar or two and you can't afford a shirt please you guys go donate go donate let's get Michael here to America please you guys I'm asking as a part of the fams, I know you guys could do it, and we come together as a team. Before we know it, he'll have enough funds to get this paperwork started and get him here. So, on that note, y'all, I got to go get dressed. I got to get these kids dressed, and um, I hope you have an amazing, blessed day. And if nobody tells you they love you today, I love you. With faith, prayer, and the fams, with anything could happen. Anything. And you could put your mind to anything and do anything you put your mind to. So, I love you guys, and I will see you all later. And as the infamous Mr. I Believe in Ghosts would say, Evie, peace.